at Panther Creek Disc Golf Course in Morristown, Tennessee. Carter and um, Napier are sitting at 21 down now. Right out to the left. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that long hyzer route. That's you pretty much want to cut it as close to that left side as you as you can without getting yourself into trouble. That way it can fade. <laughs> Anytime Matt Bell approves of your shot, then you know that's a good shot. Yeah, no joke. And will he approve of his own? Looks like he got caught up on the right side a bit. Shouldn't have any problem. Difference between pros and hands, they can make <laughs> those tight gaps work. Mm -hmm. Matt looks like he's trying to jump up this. Keep in mind, this is a par five, and this is a, his third shot here, his jump button. Lays it right up next to the pin. Almost got the eagle, unfortunately, just off the nubs. Bell tapping in for a birdie. Five? Yes, yeah, yeah, three ain't, five. ain't bad at all. Here's the shortest hole on the tree for him. <laughs> you should hug that tree. <laughs> Dude 64 is Matt Bell. Went up on the left side a little bit. Still looking at a great putt. Which is, yeah, it is kind of strange seeing seeing some pars on on these really short ones from these pros, but that, seeing those really long ones that are getting yeah. eagles and stuff, it's like... I think it might be part of what you said. This gets in there. You go on over to their channel and you can see the lead card coverage of round two here at Panther. Kind of goes long. And, the sign says it goes straight, but it kind of plays to the left. Far from straight. Yeah. <laughs> it goes left and left some more, and, yeah. then, goes, and then it goes straight, but I mean, there's a lot of left before that. You know, that, that kick and that roll. It's on the left side a little bit, but shouldn't be any problems. Mm. Hits a tree and falls down. Bell is putting together a really solid round on this course. I hated to see a tree kick there. It's looking like a great shot there. Oh, another tree. <laughs> it's kind of the story. to shake his hand for playing this, this course so well. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Latt. Or, I'm sorry, Matt Bell. Oh, oh no. Hated to see that one spit out there. I, You know what? I'd take a par on this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd be happy with yeah, that as well. Absolutely. Matt looks like he's not too happy with that par. And Colin's still, still neck and neck at 20, what, 24? Mm hmm. Yep. There'll be a little work over there from that right side. Looks like Matt's going with the flick as well. It's looking good. Oof. Oh, just <laughs> when I say the hill. But definitely within putting range. That's right sure. Right. Bell ended up basically in the perfect spot that us hams are aiming for there. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that shot that I was just referring to. Um, that's, that's the sweet spot. I mean... Matt Bell also looking for a three. Hits the top of the band and calls <laughs> in. These pros here. Starting out on hole number five, 20 foot par four. It plays uphill and it's over 100 feet of elevation change from the tee pad to the basket. It feels all of about 1,000 feet too. Here we have Matt Bell. Latitude 64 sponsored player. Ripping. Oh, oh, getting caught up. Hits a tree and falls down. He's going to have a lot of work to do here. Great shot up the hill. Nice save. Take. 
bell going to the forehand as well. Looks like he gets it there. A little exactly. bit of the tree love there. Yeah, exactly where you want. Bell's going to tap in. Sure. And that pulls a little bit smoother of a transition coming away from five. Scores stay the same. Moving on to par uh, par three. He's out in the open. Bell, I love to see him drive off the tee with that backhand. He reaches all the way back. Didn't do it so much there, but you notice on some of the longer holes, he's got a very interesting reach back. I love to see it. A wide out action there. Got caught up. He's looking at a longer putt. Good run right there. Matt looks like he's running it. Going for a par save here. Just off the gate. Bell tapping in for a bogey four after that unfortunate kick off the cage. Looks like we're going on to uh, par four, hole number seven. Bell going with a flick. Looking like a great shot. Absolutely, right where you want to be. Still taking his birdie nonetheless. Got Matt trying to do the same. Matt definitely takes his time when he's hunting. I love to see that. as well. The rest of the card sitting at 13 down. Moving on to hole number eight. You really notice Matt's reach back right there. Looks like he's getting caught up on the left side. You got a little bit of a kick out to kind of save him from that edge there. Yeah, it would have almost definitely been a bogey if he went deep in that. Yeah, any more to the, any more to the left, it would have been trouble. He's got a putt there, right off the top there. Matt looking about the same kind of putt Tic Tac had, about the same distance. Nice, Bill. It's far. Definitely pro tips taking the bag off. Oh yeah. Moving on to hole number eight, shorter than 710, just because, like Pat said, it's slightly downhill. Also, these pros make it just look so easy. Get some good distance on that one. Mm -hmm. After that, he moved up to pro. He's been doing great since. What, about nine nine MPO wins? Yeah, in 2017, nine MPO wins. Bell looking to do the same here. Oh, couldn't quite get it there though. Still stays as far. And Bell with a bogey. No, I'm sorry. He parred. Four birdies side. It's a tough spot. Bell came to this tournament all the way from California. It's good. I gotta mention, great camera work from Corey Murphy there. Oh yeah. When I saw Matt like, going over the top. I was like, well, there's a shot we didn't get. But <laughs> looking back at the footage, I could not believe he caught that. Looks like Matt, uh, Matt Bell is going over the top as well. Huge sky in Hazard. He got over the top, but 
it ended up over on the right side of the fairway there in the woods, about 20 feet there. Again, just making this look so easy. Yeah. I crawled back here in the woods with Matt and he said, he said, I got a jump putt. And I thought he was joking, but uh. as you can see, he was, there was no joke to that. Matt, after fighting his way out of the woods, makes a good bird, another birdie. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> and on the hole 11, we won't top of the hill. Matt Bell looking to do the same. Great camera work from Corey Murphy. Falls all the way. Ooh. Little roll back down. However. Great stop from Matt. One thing I've noticed is an am. If I have a problem with my putting, I'm usually not smart enough to stop and I end up trying to throw anyway. Mm -hmm. Shank the drive. Two good stops there. Makes an adjustment. And that's a great. Matt looking to do the same thing as Tic Tac. A little bit more to the left than he. Bell with a birdie. That's a great birdie. I did five birdies. Five birdies. Star, star birdie on that. That's <laughs> not where you want to be. Bell going with a roller. That's a pretty risky shot, but. It's Bouncing. going and going some more, and it's going to turn back over for him, and uh, looks like he got it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never failed here with his two after that outstanding roll. That's a great two to have. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did that. If anybody's ever played any of uh, HB's signature courses, he's been known to do that with a few of these holes, but this course, I mean, despite its longevity and Crazy shots, it's a beautiful course. Anybody that's in the Morristown area, check it out. Absolutely, definitely worth driving to. Even Well, shooting for a two on this par four. Pretty admirable shot. Absolutely, you gotta feel great on a 590 foot hole. Come on. Oh, a little short. Matt's going to take his birdie. I know he wanted that eagle putt. It's looking pretty close. Starting off on hole number 14. 465 foot. It's a par 4. Matt Bale throwing a roller. Well, looks like it panned out pretty good for him. Looks like he's looking at about... Maybe 85 to 90. Yeah, Matt Bell looking to do the same. I mean, that's a, that's a valiant two right there, too. Yeah. Especially on this hole. Get there. Oh, oh good. Gosh. Just off the cage. Matt taps in for his birdie, 19 down, and we're heading on to hole number 15, 650 foot par four. This one kind of goes downhill and then back uphill, and the basket's in the right, in the woods you and see kinda, over there. It's kind of tucked in there too. Um, and he actually, uh, yeah, he had, you can see the basket there. Yeah, so if he got just around that, he would have been sitting pretty. Mm -hmm. Bell ended up in the rough over there. Just looking to line he's up still, a flick. He's still on his second shot, isn't he? Yeah, this is Bell's second shot here. You know, it's not a bad spot for your second shot. I mean, he has an opening. 
If that's all he has to do is just flick it out for that, yeah. and that works out. <laughs> Bell going for his birdie three. Didn't even blink. Nope. <laughs> As we said in the first video, I don't know if you guys saw it. If you hadn't, make sure you click back and watch. Two wins, and then he uh, took second place at the National Collegiate Disc Golf Championships, and now he's moved on since to nine MPO wins with three in a row. That's a huge year for him. That's absolutely <laughs> huge. We could all hope for a year like that. <laughs> yeah. There's a huge hyzer route here on hole 16. It's only 365 feet, but with them throwing that big high hyzer, I'm assuming it's probably playing maybe around 420. That, I think, is another thing that separates pros from AMs is they see lines that I would never even dream of oh, yeah. and make it happen. Matt with a little falling putt there. Looks like he's got... This hole is just not very forgiving. Mm -mm. There we go. Great. Hole number 17 is a par 5. On the scorecard, it's a par 5. Uh, most of these guys are going to say this one plays as a 4. It's 635 feet. It kind of goes straight, and then it turns left and left and left. <laughs> Looks like a great shot from Matt there. That's a beautiful shot. Mm -hmm. This is the hole that uh, if you follow, he's definitely going to be walking away with the Eagle 3 on this one. Bell with a clean shot. Sure. Matt Bell looking at about maybe 45 feet, you think? Oh yeah, if not less. That's a great putt for Eagle. Yeah, definitely. Looks like Carter and Napier and Bell are all sitting at 20 down. Moving on to hole number 18. 365 foot par 3. Plays a little longer than 365, I would think. It does, but after you know playing those last three holes, the longer, longer bits, you know, I mean, this one... It's just a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The, the tournament. Uh, I think they uh, sit and watch. I think they move from hole to hole. Okay. Because I think we saw them spotting on a, another hole on a different video. So these guys are all about disc golf. They're here in the Tennessee State Championship every single year. So I wanted to keep them in there. Yeah. Bell tapping in for his three. Just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy, yeah, since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.